Fruit Wars, this is Captain Fruit reporting for duty, and today I'm going to be talking about, about Soul Finder Demons Match. I'm going to be reviewing this. It's written by Douglas Ernst, the art was by Tim Lim, and the coloring was Brett R. Smith. Now, first of all, I want to let you know when you get this book, it's 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 got some pages to it. It's got some uh, some thickness here, so, <laughs> so that's good there. You got a good chunk there, so you're not getting a thin book. Uh, you know, the actual page kind of off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you what it is. I, you know, I just couldn't. Off the top of my head, there it is. But I'm going to tell you right now, the pages, the cover is good quality. The pages are a nice, thick, stock quality too to them. And it opens up to a very nice, interesting thing here. It says, the six extraordinary forms of demonic activity. Possession, obsession, oppression, infliction, infestation, and subjection. Watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Matthew 26, 41. Uh, you know, I will say an interesting thing about this book is, when I read this book, and this is something I can't say a comic book has ever done, is maybe you want to go and open up my Bible and not just look up that verse, but look at the verses around it. It just made me interested in checking it out. So I did that. Out, right off the bat, the artwork is very, very solid. I mean, look at that. That's that's. I, I was worried about that maybe a little bit Tim Lim, he does more of a cartoonish art style. But as you look in this book here, um, he does have that. A little bit of the manga art style there too, but he still does it with a very serious tone. And that was a part that I really liked about it. So I, I think Tim Lim knocked it out of the park, did great with the artwork. The covers, by the way, was Dave Dorman did that as well. And there's additional art by Matthew Weldon in here too. Um, so I'm just going to show you a couple pages. Uh, as you can see, the artwork is definitely solid and does a good job of expressing feeling and things like that. Um, but you know what? The thing that really got me about this book is, remember, this is a just the first introduction to this character here that we get. And the, the writer, and I will say I'm a bit biased possibly here because I, I know Douglas Ernst, okay, but I did not, I'm not going to sugarcoat it because of that. And so we have the main character, actually there's a couple characters that look like he's going to be a pretty prominent character too in and, and the continuation, but I, I digress there. The main character is something very interesting in this book. And the reason I say that is because usually when you get a book like this, your first introduction, you don't know much about that character, so you don't have any connection with that character. But Douglas Ernst does an excellent job in this book through flashbacks, through that make perfect sense of why these flashbacks are happening too to really let you understand this character how this character here is not only you know been through the trial by fire literally on fire he's had suffered much loss he's lost his father due to a horrific incident his father was a police officer was shot and killed he's lost friends in the military he's got a mother that he's going to be losing and he's got a sister that has no faith it seems like at all so he really is truly alone. Every obstacle has been in his way to help him lose faith, to push him to lose faith, but he has never lost his faith. And that's what you see in this book. This character continues to fight and struggle on no matter how bad things are for him. And that is what really, I greatly enjoy this character. We get more depth in a one book character than I think I've ever seen in any one book character introduction of a book. We really do get a lot of depth into this. I mean, as I said, through these matches that they get, they light up and it sort of like forces them to <laughs> see the worst parts that he's went through and things like that, that, that could break a person and just how it impacts him and makes him who he is. And the other characters too, in this just one book, one simple book, the other characters are fleshed out quite well. It, the way they're done, the police officer, he's an interesting character. He isn't just a, a throwaway right off the bat. And this character here, Reginald Crane, he's very interesting too. And he's really, this whole book develops into this priest here, the main character, becoming a soul finder, number 79, if I'm not mistaken, as they go against the, the cult of Blackfire. So you're going to see that transition as character. And you notice the, the garb here too. This is going to be the garb the priest ends up wearing as well. So it's a very interesting way this book is done, dealing with the demonic 
It's very well written. The panels and layouts are absolutely great. The characterization is great. Like for example, here's the main character's sister. And she's going at him right off the bat because, well, she just doesn't have the faith that he does, Mr. Ritter here. And, and that's just good. It's good character interaction. You know, not all family always agrees. And once again, that's one more thing stacked up against him. And it just seems like everything is stacked up against him. But he... He doesn't give up. I mean, look at this. You see his prosthetic got melted here. There is some gore to it. This is definitely not a kid's book, but it is a book with a lot of depth. And another thing about that, this book too, and I don't want to give away too much, so maybe I'm not going to show that page here, but this book is a fully contained story, but it plants seeds very well for future stories. So you don't get this and go, well, now i got to have to buy the next one, or I'm not going to know what's going on, or I never get fulfilled. Where this story here, you're going to get fulfilled, but yet it still leads you to want to read another story. Remember I mentioned the progression too? Look at the outfit now. He's changed now as a soul finder. He's wearing the soul finder outfit. These little details showing progression and growth are absolutely absolutely wonderful and the little things that happen in this story too with father father Ritter is just it screams that the the writer understood the character and understands the role of faith but yet it's not so much in your face that you can't read this book if you don't have faith for a particular panel here i really love this part here i don't like you he says tell your cop buddy not to send you around here anymore and his response is definitely christ-filled that just means I'm not loving you hard enough later. I, I mean, what that, that, that part right there, I think, made the, made the book for me. There's lots of other great things here, too, in, in this book. But I don't think you can go wrong with this book. Dealing with the supernatural, as I said, I don't want to give too much away, but it's absolutely a uh, fantastic book. Uh, all the characters have some level of depth. I want to know more about the cop character. I want to know more about this Soul Finder character here too. And I want to see where this character goes next. And I know Doug's working on a second book. He's got to be. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the next turnout is. I honestly don't think you can go wrong with this book. If you don't already have it, get it. Get your hands on it. I don't think you can go wrong. And this is, if I'm not mistaken, Douglas Hearn's first go-around, his first outing doing a comic book, and I think he knocked it out of the park right on the first shot. Um, so the one maybe an art tiff I have, is you notice, it seems like everybody's got the same goatee here. <laughs> but maybe that's a minor little thing. Nothing really that, that bugged me at all. I'm really interested to see where this story goes next. It just did really well, a lot of depth. I don't think you can go wrong. It's got some concept art in the back, too. Absolutely well done. I, I like that a lot. So there you go. Soul Finder. Demon's Match. There's the Demon's Match, right? I don't think you can go wrong with this book. Kudos to you, Doug. I think you did an amazing job. Keep it up. I can't wait for the second issue of this series. And until next time, keep it frugal. Hey guys, before you leave, I do want to say something. I want to commend Douglas Ernst. For anybody that knows Douglas Ernst, one of the biggest learning lessons I think you probably could have gotten from this comic book is that he learned how to bag and board comic books properly. <laughs> Doug, I know you're going to get that. Thanks a lot, man. This comic is great. Thanks for sticking with me through this. If you don't mind and you enjoy videos like this, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe. And even bigger, hit that notifications bell because evidently that means a lot. Also, if you find yourself in the position that you can help the channel and you want to, you say, hey, I like this stuff. If you don't mind, go down to the info bar down below. We have a link for our Patreon, which you can join our Patreon for as little as $1 a month, which gets you special posts that are only for the patrons. So sometimes I do Frugal Force videos that are patron only or special versions of videos. I also do random Frugal Force giveaways where I just take a random person out of there with a random number generator that selects who it is and I send them stuff, whether it be games or comic books or both, whoever knows. And sometimes I even just ask you guys questions or shoot up a message. I greatly appreciate you checking those out. Also, if you find that maybe that's not for you, you don't like Patreon, we have it in the info bar as well a Streamlabs link there where you can click on that and just give a one-time donation. And that helps the channel. All those proceeds are going right back into the channel to help Little Frugal and I and his sister, the American Dream, my wonderful little girl, <laughs> and our family continue to have fun doing this and sharing this with you. All right, thank you very much. 
Thank you, subscribers. Thank you for all the ones that have stuck it out with me this long. And all the new ones that have joined on, too. Thank you. We greatly appreciate it. And don't be afraid to leave a message in the comment section, too. We love to read them. All right, thanks. And until next time, keep it frugal.